And we're back with more Bucky O'Hare, where last time we left off, we went to the yellow planet to rescue Willy. So now it's off to the red planet, and this is where we're gonna find Deadeye. And this is your typical fire lava level, so that's always a lot of fun. Uh, this first part starts off pretty simple, and one thing I completely forgot to do in the last video is show off Blinky's ability, which is a jetpack. So that is something we're gonna need to do in order to progress across this game. But see, right now we just have to be aware of uh, chunks of molten lava, and and it's just important to uh, just make our jumps. Of course, timing is always really important here too. So let's see, with uh, this stage, there are a lot more instant kill hazards from spikes to lava to this one fire section that's uh, pretty similar to Quick Man stage. So that is something that's going to give me fits, and I'm probably going to die at least once doing that. So let's see, for this next part, it's just some basic, pu or some basic puzzles here. I mean, fortunately, that stuff's not too tough to worry about. Let's just get the uh, top one first, and then you're good to go. And then this time, no puzzles necessary. And then one thing I do like about Willy's laser gun is that it kills a lot of things in one hit. So let's see, let's get Bucky up here. Just because you can never have too many extra lives here, especially with this next section coming up. So now I gotta just run. Actually, it's more like running and falling, but still. Okay, can I do this? Okay, this is getting close. Okay, somehow made it through that on my first try. Didn't think I could do that, but... Yeah, that was uh, kind of nerve-wracking. So let's see, uh, this next part is a little bit easier. Just uh, be aware of the giant lava flares of death. I mean, fortunately, those things don't kill you instantly. Because that would kind of suck if they did. Let's see, uh... Yeah, I think after that part, uh, the rest of the stage is pretty much smooth sailing as long as you can make jumps. So, let's see, uh... The good news is you can have, uh, a lot of versatility to work with at this point. And, yeah, see how much damage that solar flare did? Or that lava flare, or whatever you call it? That's, uh, one thing. Or that's one reason you do really have to be careful in this game. Okay, I'll just go ahead and get this going then. And yeah, this part's kind of a mind screw, but what we gotta do is just make our way up while uh, trying to not get mashed in by spikes. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. Okay, make the jump, please. Thank you. And see, it does get a little bit trickier here, but fortunately it's not that bad once you uh, figure out the pattern. I mean, it was pretty similar to Mega Man 3 and... I think Wily Stage 3, but it is actually a lot easier in Mega Man 3 than it is here. Man, that's stuff I don't need to be doing. I mean, at least these uh, toads don't do a whole lot of damage. It's just, uh, whenever they show up out of nowhere and then respawn, and, you know, that's when you end up running into trouble. But really, the uh, main hazard here is just, uh, Whenever they decide to screw up your jump and then you end up missing the jump. Or end up hitting the spikes or something like that. So let's see, just gotta make jumps here. Uh, the good news is that uh, if you did manage to get a game over here, that these jumps are catered so that Bucky can make them without full power. But I just like to be a little bit more cautious like that. Okay, good. Yeah, see, this is why you need good timing in this game. And this is one reason why it's so hard to record if you get a bunch of slowdown. Well, just because, you mean, your jumps get screwed up and then... Just all sorts of different things happen. And might as well just take this while we got the chance. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I think I wanna get Blinky up here. So I'll just wait for this guy. Let's 
Let's see, I think I want Bucky for this next part. Yeah, because now I gotta worry about this thing. And just make the jump. Uh, this part does get a little bit tricky because, uh, you can get caught off guard by that stupid bowling ball. Which is gonna cause us problems. And by the way, this thing is the boss in this area, so we do have to worry about that. But right now, we can just ride this the whole way there. Ah, I should've gotten that life. Oh well. So let's just get Willy up here because he's gonna be doing most of the ass kicking against these bosses. And then this is Willy's special ability, so you can just charge up and fire. So instead, uh, really all you have to do is just avoid the ball and... I mean, outside of that, this guy's not too tough. I mean, the stage was a lot tougher, but... Either way, that is gonna be it for the Red Planet. And we're not talking about Mars. So now we got Deadeye here, and... What I do like about Deadeye is, uh... His Toad Blaster is multi-directional, so you can shoot it in three directions. I mean, not nearly as good as a spread shot, but it is gonna be very useful in different situations. And then his special ability is that he can climb walls and then jump off them. Which is actually going to be, uh, really useful later in the game. Especially there's this one section later on where we do have to climb walls and then make jumps. That is gonna be a lot of fun. But I'm getting way too far ahead of myself. So with that said, join me next time as I rescue the final member of the crew. See you then!